Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about psychology, cognitive processes, that is unit 3. Under this, already we have discussed about introduction to perception, definition of perception and principles of perception. In this video, we are going to discuss about factors affecting perception as well as errors in perception. Perception, factors affecting perception as well as errors in perception. This is my part 2B video. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying general psychology as well as for BS students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the contents what we are going to discuss in this part 2B video that is as I have already told factors affecting perception as well as errors in perception we are going to discuss in this video. Let's move on to the topic. Factors affecting perception. Perception is what you are interpreting the sensation. You are converting the sensation into a meaningful thing that is called as perception which I have discussed in detail in my last video. If you have not watched that video I have given the link in description box suggested end card as well as I cards. So what are the factors affecting perception? First your sense organs is very very important in order to have interpretation of the stimuli or in order to have a correct perception of the stimuli. So perception. Perception depends upon the sense organs or receptors on which the stimuli act and sensory neurons which transmit the nerve. So your nervous system as well as your sense organs should be very pakka so in order to have a good perception for example if cones cones which are responsible for color vision if it is not developed properly in the retina you may not be able to perceive the color okay so your cones are responsible for your color vision if it is not going to get a uh, properly developed in the retina you may not be able to perceive the color next to moving on to brain your brain is very very important whatever the sensory stimulus it should be carried to the brain properly so your brain and nervous system should be very normal in order to have proper perception for example if the auditory area in the brain is destroyed we cannot be able to perceive the auditory stimulus okay and similarly if the optic nerve is destroyed we may not be able to see or perceive the visual stimulus so like that the brain is playing a very important role also in perceiving next is memory images of the past experience so whatever we are seeing any new stimulus also we will be relating it to the old stimulus so this memory images helps us to comprehension of the object that is understanding of the object or stimulus before us so whatever we are seeing we are correlating with what with the past experiences okay so this is normal for not only for uh, children it is normal for every individual here they have given an example with related to a child a child has come in contact with a horse but when you are asking the child that the child already has seen a cow so the child uh, may not know that it is a horse and it will be relating it to its past experiences that that is the child will be telling the horse has cow because the child for the first time it is seeing the horse but previously so many times it has seen the cow so it was relating it to the horse to cow personal interest and mindset so you should have your own interest and a positive attitude or mindset in order to perceive things quickly and clearly suppose if your mind is upset you may not be able to perceive the things in a normal way similarly your interest is also very 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 important in order to perceive the things acquired interest 
so sometimes you will be developing a interest towards some particular object or objects so if you are going to have interest on those things you will be perceiving it better suppose if you are having an happy hobby of collecting stamps so whenever a new stamp on a letter if it comes immediately you will be taking that stamp and you will be collecting it and you will be keeping it in your album so this is what based on your interest also your perception will be very so on seeing a letter oh this stamp has come newly it seems so we will be collecting like that you will be thinking so whatever your interest based on your interest you will be uh, you will be collecting the information or you will be perceiving the things next needs and desires our needs or desires also will be modifying our perception based on our need based on our interest based on our desire we will be perceiving different things so these are all some of the basic things what we have seen apart from these basic things you have your own culture your own belief your own opinion also will be affecting your perception suppose if you are having a bad impression on your person how much ever the person does good also you will be having a perception you will be perceiving it very badly or wrongly okay so your belief your opinion and cultural idea will also play an, a very important role in perception in addition to the above functional factors your structural factors which affect perception are the nature of the physical stimuli the intensity okay in a way, principles of perception i have discussed about the intensity of the stimulus and all no and their arrangements and the neural effects uh, which uh, Uh, that is in the nervous system what effect the stimulus is going to produce suppose the mild stimulus will not uh, you will not catch more attention or perception compared to that of uh, severe stimulus like that we have told so in that way you have to uh, take into consideration so these are all the factors which are going to affect your perception next moving on to errors in perception errors perception you may have so many errors the main two important errors of perception are illusions or hallucinations mostly this illusion and hallucinations way it will be in mostly seen in mentally ill persons but even in ordinary individuals also sometimes you may have these illusions and uh, perception for example in illusion suddenly a uh, a rope is uh, lying on the floor suddenly if it is misinterpreted for a snake like that and all even for a normal person you may have this illusion and hallucinations but uh, in um, mentally ill people or people with psychiatric illness the thing is going to be very more illusion illusion is a misinterpretation of actual perception so here in illusion stimulus is there but you are misinterpreting it as i have told in previous example um your rope in the dark can be misinterpreted for a snake so illusions uh, are in illusion you have a stimulus but you are misinterpreting the stimulus okay um a stone will be there you are misinterpreting it for your 1 rupee coin so like that okay the stimulus is present but the misinterpretation of the stimulus is taking place illusion illusions are caused by inadequacies of our sense organs distance of the object from the sense organs which perceive it misleading stimuli in the environment our perceived notions and expectancy so these are all the causes for illusion so suppose if your sense organs are not functioning adequately and uh, if you are going to the distance of the object also so very near if you are going and seeing you can interpret it very nicely uh, but uh, if you are seeing at a long distance you may not know what is actually present at that situation and your nervous system the uh, uh, environmental stimuli which can be sometimes misleading everything can lead to illusions next is hallucination hallucination is one of the major errors of perception so you may have so many types of hallucination in illusion external stimuli is present but in hallucination there is no external stimuli but you will be perceiving that something is there for example in hallucination you may have so many types of hallucination so what are the so many types of hallucination so you will be telling that some people are calling me but no one will be there to call you i am seeing the images of some uh, 
person but no person will be in front of the person and some insects are crawling on the skin nothing will be on the insect like that uh, so many types of hallucinations are there which is more commonly seen in what mentally ill patients so these hallucinations are imaginary perceptions where there will not be any external stimuli in the absence of external sensory stimuli an alcoholic may see pink elephants he may see that pink elephants are standing uh, in front of him a paranoid schizophrenic patient paranoid means who is having suspiciousness they will not believe others so in third year uh, mental health nursing you will be learning about this paranoid schizophrenia everything and all okay so he may hear voices or he may experience some foul smells or foul odors but uh, the external stimuli there will not be anything but the person will be telling i am feeling some foul smell like that or i am hearing some voices or something is crawling on my skin like that and all so this hallucinations as i have told earlier it is more common in mentally ill patients or mentally ill people so depending upon the type of hallucinations you can have visual hallucinations that is you will be seeing some abnormal thing but nothing will be there in the real uh, stimuli and auditory the person hearing voices without an auditory stimulus kinesthetic means a movement the person will be telling that something is crawling on the skin some insects are crawling on my skin like that and all but that is not true all fact it means uh, feeling some odd smells uh, foul smells like that and gustate means taste the person will sometimes exaggerate the taste or the person will be sometimes still that there is no taste but nothing will be there in the uh, mouth okay nothing food substance will be there but the person will be telling so that is called as gustatory accurate perception is absolutely necessary in order to record an accurate observation so we a nurse should be aware of those errors in perception particularly when she is handling mentally ill clients next what are the causes of inaccurate perception what is the reason why 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 the person is not able to perceive it correctly first thing is defective function of sense organs for example myopia short sightedness or hypermetropia long sightedness then deafness anesthesia anesthesia loss of consciousness due to some anesthetic agents or other sensory defects may lead to inaccurate perception okay then inadequate stimulus inadequate stimulus means the stimulus should be strong enough in order to produce a perception suppose if the stimulus is very 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 weak stimulus or vague vague means unclear clarity will not be there or indefinite stimulus that time no you may not be able to perceive it correctly a weak light soft sound is very difficult to perceive too many stimuli at one time so too many stimuli at one time so too many loud noises too much bright light so everything too much bright light too much loud noises and everything no and uh, suppose one single time suppose think that you are in the room same time if your mother is giving instruction your father is giving instruction your brother is giving a uh, talking to you something so you may not be able to hear what your mother says what your father says what your brother says like that so too much of stimuli also can distract the patient and uh, uh, the patient may not be able to listen to it think that at a time we are taking only one class think that at the same time we are taking psychology one side microbiology one side to which teacher you will listen so in that way too many stimuli at a time also can lead to um, distraction in perception poor health your sense organs your vital organs then you should be um, your general condition should be fair and healthy then only you can perceive it otherwise when during your illness your perception will be inaccurate limited attention so attention span is very 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 important if we try to apprehend more things at a single time you may not be able to perceive it correctly so attention is very 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 important suppose only for a short period of time you are attending something and uh, you want to perceive it means then it is very difficult for you to perceive that is limited attention so figure merges in the ground sometimes objects are perceived with the difficulty i told no figure ground relationship is very very important in principle of perception so the background the figure everything should be uh, strong enough in order to perceive it properly for example in a white wall it is difficult to find out a white patch similarly in a black wall it is difficult to find out a black dot so 
uh, in your white uh, wall a black dot easily you can perceive it so the figure and the ground the background also should be if the background is dark the figure should be light enough or if the figure is dark the background should be light enough in order to have better perception okay suppose if it is in uh, vice versa then the perception will be in problem guidance perception is inaccurate when we do not know what should be perceived suppose so many things suppose they are telling suppose a motion picture they are showing for a period of 30 seconds so in that what they are asking means suddenly a song will come a music will come so you have to identify the music so that motion picture with so many dialogues and all it will be going on in between in the 30 seconds itself in between one uh, fine tone of music will come so you know in that motion picture what you have to identify you have to identify that music what song so you will be expecting for that sound to come and you will be pursuing and you will be thinking well, what from what film the song is so you you should be guided to perceive what you have to perceive so my next video will be on learning its definition nature of learning types of learning learner and learning so part 2a and part 2b video will dealt detail about perception hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist psychology for bsc nursing students thanks for watching